Hi, my name is Kavita Sharma. I'm the author of Pass PMP in 21 Days book series. I am also listed as significant contributor in PM Box 6. I'm also a reviewer with PMI CAPM e-learning. In today's video, I'll be taking you through why should you do PMP? Because that's number one question people ask. Um, what are different certification in the market? So if you are a beginner, you would be you would want to explore different certifications. What are different costs involved um, if you plan to go with PMP? Are you eligible? That's another question a lot of people have doubts on. Is PMP exam difficult? I'm going to be touching upon that. I have detailed video about what is the PMP exam all about. You can, I'm going to be referring that as well. How do I start? If you make up your mind, how do you start? How do you prepare? What are the best resources? I'm going to talk about them. Do's and don'ts and the next steps. PMI has done a survey and it's been shown that at least PMP people are getting 25% higher salary on an average than their counterparts. The link is given below, you can check that. Better career options, you can hop on to the job if you want to move from one company to another. It's, it's a globally recognized certificate. So a lot of company gonna give you preferred treatment. So you can go grow vertically or horizontally or two different jobs. So you your choice. And obviously it makes you efficient. The tools and techniques which are given, for example, how do you collect requirement? You can do workshop, you can do surveys. So all of that is, uh, you know, the techniques which are there can make you really, really efficient vis-a-vis -vis processes as well as with people and understanding the business environment total. Um, so the current uh, eco or current content outline really makes you efficient as a project manager. What are other certifications in the market? So there are many. If you go and look around, if you are an IT background person, you can go with Agile certification. So you can go with CA, PM, uh, CSM, you can go with Agile, PM, SAFE, and so on. Um, you, you can go with PRINCE2 as well. PRINCE2 focuses on methodology and step-by-step -step processes, which PMI, uh, PMP lacks in it focuses on tools um, my suggestion would be go with both of them because both of them complement each other if you are not eligible for PMP then you can go with entry-level um, certifications like CAPM or Prince to beginner what, let's say you have made up your mind what is the cost if you want to go with PMP exam so the cost is divided into three things first second and third um, these two are fixed cost and this is variable based on which country you are in which location and what kind of mode of training do you opt for so membership cost is 129 usd and the exam cost is for members it is 405 usd if you are a non-member and you would want to directly go with the PMP exam, the examination cost is 555. So if you do the math, this is a better option to go with. It saves some money. Um, training cost could be anywhere from 299 USD to 2000 USD itself. So you decide where exactly you would want to. What is the eligibility criteria? PMP exam is aimed at professionals who've been doing project management. So you need to have at least three years of project management experience. Um, what does it mean? You should be able to, you from last three years, you are leading a project team. You are working and delivering um, the projects. What is a project? Anything unique which you do. So if you are an Oracle consultant and you are the only person in your team, are you doing projects or not? You are. Um, if there's a start date and end date to whatever work you are doing, you're working with stakeholders, you are being executing project. However, if you've been doing support for your project, that support wherein you are handling tickets and calling people every day, that is not considered a project. So check your qualification, whether you are really eligible or not. There is a video link given in the 
description um, how to file PMP application. It will take you through um, the entire steps and it will also help you understand whether you satisfy the three years or not. If you have 16 years of education, then you would need three years of project management experience. If you have less than that, then this requirement of managing project becomes more. Plus, you would also need 35 hours of PMP training. 35 hours of PMP training, these are also called 35 PDUs. So wherever you um, learn from, that faculty or institute should be able to give you a certificate which certify, which certify you that you have gone through 35 hours of learning itself. Whether offline learning or online learning or classroom learning, the certificate generally should describe that. Is the PMP examination difficult? So the examination is an online or on-demand exam. What does it mean? This on-demand exam can be done at home or at any center. You can schedule your exam tomorrow either at home or center by going to pmi.org and sufficing fi filing up your PMP application and so on. The exam duration is 2.30 minutes and it has two breaks of 10 minutes which are optional. The exam is divided into three sections. So I'm just going to simplify it for you here. The exam is divided into three sections, A, section B, and C. Total questions are 180 questions. So 60 questions in section 1, 60 here, 60 here. Total duration of the um, exam is 230 minutes plus 10 minutes of this optional break and 10 minutes of this optional break. This is optional. If you want to take this, you can. If you don't want to and go to the next section, you can. So 230 minutes plus 10 minutes plus 10 minutes. So total is, these are optional as I said earlier. So the real examination screen time would be 230 minutes. The questions which come in the exam, as I told you, is 180 questions and they come from different domains or different groups. 42% um, of the questions are people oriented. How do you communicate with people? How do you understand? How would you show leadership? Uh, situational questions, so you're gonna see a lot of question uh, details and then the answers. Answers could be multi-select or could be one select out of four radio buttons you have to select one right answer it could be true or false or it could be drag and drop um, these are also called hotspot questions so out of 180 questions you're gonna have people percentage of the question um, surrounding communication people um, stakeholders which are 42 percent uh, processes how do you do scope management how do you do cost management? All of that going to be 50% of the questions. And business involvement would be 8% of the question. So if I ask you if the total questions are 180 questions and process is going to have 50% of them, total question from process going to be how much? So it's going to be 90 question from processes. You got it. What are different resources for the PMP exam prep? So first thing which I would want to say and caution you is do not go for free resources because nobody is taking ownership of them. Do not, do not try and do test from, you know, free website. The problem with the free test papers is you might see questions from PMBOK 5 or worse PMBOK 3, the kind of terms which they have been using and the kind of questions there are. Um, you would get confused and you're going to give wrong answers. So do not go with free resources. Go with resources which are updated and updated often. Um, if you are a person who is self-disciplined and you can, you know, schedule some two hours with yourself, 
you can go to udemy.com and check whether there are resources available um, udemy has a lot of uh, courses and you can check the rating and select the course which you would prefer um, you can go to organization your organization portal and can check a lot of organization have created pmp courses uh, check them um, you can also go to Coursera and can check some of the courses. For example, there is a Google PM course. Um, it is a self-learn course. However, um, I checked it out. It is at CAPM level. It is at a fresher level. Uh, you can get started with that as well. You, the other option is use a mentor. You can use somebody who has done PMP just now, a lot of things fresh in his or her mind. Um, start off with the PMP prep along with a book with them. So um, that's another way to start off your PMP journey with thin and you know easy resources. Or if you want to go fast track, you can join a workshop. This is the one I would really recommend because this is the one wherein you would be able to interact with fellow people. Uh, a lot of people can form a study group you can discuss questions and get clarification because you know if you are alone you would not be able to know what is going on in the other world um, if people ask different questions you would also get to know the knowledge um, on different topics so join a workshop it could be a classroom or it could be a um, online workshop this is the best method i would recommend but um, it depends on you, um, the resources you have, the time you have, and so on. What are do's and don'ts? Understand, I, I my student never fails, but there are a few exceptions. And I generally have detailed talk with those exceptions. Uh, so one common theme which I have found in all those exceptions are they try and take shortcuts. Um do not understand concept and try and do you know pmp test try and do look at various sources of information and get confused so there are no shortcuts don't try and do only test and pass the pmp you would not be able to pass the pmp exam the first thing which you need to do is to understand concept if you understand concept you can give answers to any question um, whatever concept you understand, apply that in your job, day-to-day -day job. That way you would not be able to forget that. It's not a theoretical exam. It's an exam on your skills. So apply them. Do many tests, do many exams, but from an authenticated source and stay on track. Um, you know, blog your two hours every day and do the practice test every day that way you would not forget the topics and the requirement um, over a period of time you need this to do you need to do this only for 30 days or so and you will pass the pmp exam but you have to stay put on this what you should not do is there are no shortcuts so don't try and take shortcuts do not memorize things it's not going to help you because if i change one sentence or one word in a sentence the answer changes so if you try and memorize questions from the test prep um, you won't be able to get far and do not try and you know try and answer questions with your knowledge with the way you work i've seen a lot of senior people failing in the pmp exam because they think they are doing better project management practices um pmi expect you to behave in certain ways as per the pm bog or as per the principles and processes um, so stay understand that and live with that framework so I've walked you through uh, the eligibility, different certifications, um, the cost in word. What are the next step? So first of all, if you need to check whether this is the growth path for you, you need to check if you want to become an IC, IC is individual contributor, or you want to become a manager. So for any manager in any industry, PMP is a good part to take. But if you want to develop your skills, let's say programming, then you and you want to become a programmer, then PMP is not a good choice to go with. 
Um, so see if the growth path is in, in tune with your career aspiration. Uh, check that. Talk to your seniors. Check your profile. Are you a people person? Are you a person who have some leadership skills? Uh, look for MBTI. Um, test. I'm gonna link. I'm gonna provide a link for you know your self assessment on your personality. That's gonna give you some insight into what kind of person you are and can you do management job or not. Uh, so check that. Second is um, look at your fitment for um, management. Second is um, check your eligibility. Are you eligible or not? And see the third thing is do you have time to do workshops? Um, or do you have two, two hours every day to schedule your time and block your time for next, you know, one month or so? Check your eligibility and see whether if, so if you are fine with eligibility, this is also growth path. You are very excited to be a PMP. See whether you, your schedule allows it or not. So block your time whenever your schedule allows. Um, so there might be a wedding coming up or there might be a travel coming up in your job. So see where exactly you get at least one month to 1.5 months to do PMP prep and then block your time accordingly. Check which methodology work for you, book, self-study, workshop, and then go for it. This is all um, what you need to do. Take the first step and go for the PMP preparation. Um, a good book to start off reading is PMP Study Guide. It has all the modules. It has Agile as one of the sections. Then it has processes and um, principles. Simplify it for you. You don't have to worry about anything at all. You just read the study capsules, do a let's play quiz so that you understand the concept and evaluate yourself and do module end. These are easily uh, configured and um, there are great reviews of these. this book from last seven years. You might want to check them at Amazon and they are available. So see if this book works for you. If you have any further question, you can write to me at kavitha at kavitasharma.net. If you want to enroll in any of the workshop, you can come to my website, which is kavitasharma.net. Um, these are the books which are available for you. This is to understand concept. Then that is the first step. If you understood concept, you have been to a workshop. The second step is to evaluate, understand how much you know. Um, so that is the second step. This is um, chapter-wise questions and detailed answers for each question. Um, so you can evaluate your knowledge. And the third one is Smart Learn, which is, you know, ITTUs and keywords. You don't have to memorize. You just have to understand what is the keyword which is associated, for example, workshop. Um, how is it different than focus group? So um, these are the ones which you can find here in the ITTU keywords book. That's all pretty much from me. My name is Kavita Sharma, and I'll talk to you soon with a new video. Thank you. Bye-bye.